What's going on guys? So look what we have in front of us today. This is from a company that I've done quite a bit with, but it's been a while since I've actually reviewed any of their products. Uh, the company you may be familiar with, it's called New Vending. It starts with an N-U and it's vending.com. You know, they, uh, they were actually a company that sent me a camera. It's a wireless camera that you guys are probably very familiar with because I used it all the time on the channel when the channel was in its early days. It was basically a battery powered camera that you connected to a smartphone app and it was ruggedized. It was super cool. A lot of people I think got one um, and it, you could use it for a backup camera. You could use it for a camera underneath the chassis of the RV. I mean, I filmed all sorts of stuff with it. Um, and that camera was actually a really, really awesome camera. It had a magnetic base on it so you could just attach it to things. And this was during a time when it was very difficult to find cameras that could do things like that. So, you know, I was really surprised when, uh, when I checked my mailbox and this is what arrived. So this is from the same company, newvending.com. They have all sorts of really cool products. You should definitely check out their website, but they sent me this new ice maker with water dispenser that produces 44 pounds of ice per day. It can pour hot water, cold water, and create ice cubes. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at this thing. We'll go ahead and get it unboxed, get it out on the counter, and uh, let you see what it's all about. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. This is really, really cool. Now there's nothing that unique or special about a countertop ice machine or ice maker. They're, they're pretty much sold just about everywhere, right? You can pick them up at Walmart, Sam's Club, Target, Amazon, just about everywhere you're, you're looking for an ice maker. And they do a reasonably good job. They produce a good amount of ice. And we know because we keep one in the RV and we probably have two or three of them spread out all around the different areas that we might go. Again, they work really well. What's unique about this, though, is a few things. First of all, those other countertop ones, they typically have a relatively small reservoir that you pour a little bit of water into, and that's what it produces ice from. So when you run out of water in the reservoir, well, you run out of ice. You can't make any more. And that's going to be the same with this, except the reservoir options for this are pretty phenomenal because you can go all the way up to a five-gallon container of water that you can set on top of this almost like the water cooler at the office that everyone gathers around where you know they're talking about everything in the morning yeah you can put that type of container on top of here and feed this thing a constant stream of fresh water now with most of the countertop style ice makers you simply pour tap water into it and some people i'm sure pour bottle water or you know some type of a filtered water into it but again to be able to simply put one of those five gallon containers directly on top through this port right here and allow it to constantly feed water into it from a clean, fresh source is pretty dang nice. Also, this has a feature that is very unique to a countertop ice maker, and it's the fact that it doesn't just produce ice. It has a hot water option as well as a cold water option. So it not only heats up water, but can also provide you cold water as a dispensing machine, which is really cool. So let's say you own a small business and you have a lobby or you have a break room and you wanna put something like this in it to be able to provide hot or cold water to your employees or your guests, you could do that. This also can work really well in an RV environment. Just keep in mind, it it's kind of large dimensionally, so it may not be able to fit under some of the countertops or the, the overhangs that you might have on some of your cabinets in an RV. So I got my tape measure right here and we're gonna measure the height. So it's about 18 inches tall, it's about 11 inches wide, and it's about 17 inches deep. So again, it's probably going to be limited to certain RVs only because you're not going to be able to fit it under the upper cabinets on uh, some RV units. But you could probably put this at least in your under storage, and if you you know want to produce ice or hot or cold water whenever you're outside or whenever you're you know cooking something outside, you could use it for that. But I'd probably surmise that you'd really want to use this in a home or a cabin or perhaps an office. That's probably the best use, especially considering what all it's capable of doing. And it comes with this nifty little stainless steel mug as well, so that's really nice. I don't know if it's dual wall, but we'll pop the top off of it here in a second. We'll see. Yep, has a double wall stainless steel little coffee mug that comes with it, which is really nice. But it's very cool. I mean, this is such a cool item. My wife just walked up behind me. What do you think of this thing? I thought it was 
is going to be bigger, but no, that looks uh, looks like a mini ice maker that you see at a restaurant or at the movie theater. Yep, and I think the type of ice that it actually dispenses are those little kind of rounded kinds. Of, basically, the type of ice that you would see in the ice makers that you get from Walmart or Target and all of those. It'd be cool if it dispensed the little nugget style ice because that's an ice that I think everyone loves. But... Yeah, once you uh, put the five-gallon container on top, and if you don't have a five-gallon container, you can simply pour water into this reservoir up top as well. Okay, so just reviewing some of the specs on this thing. Um, it produces a load of ice every six to eight minutes, and each load is going to be 12 pieces. They're going to be bullet-shaped ice cubes, so yeah, it's very similar to the, the other types of countertop ice makers that are on the market. And if you need a lot of ice in a short period of time, basically the, the compartment in here that stores the ice once it's produced, if you want, you can dispense up to about four pounds of it at once if you need it. So let's say you're going to fill up a cooler or something like that, and you want to add a little bit more ice to it. But just keep in mind, it only puts 12 pieces of ice every six to eight minutes. So you're going to have to let it build up that capacity to get that four pounds. And the description says you can also use a two, three, four, or five gallon jug of water up top to keep it constantly filled. So basically what we were talking about before. And you have the ability to pour it manually. So it has a 0.8 gallon capacity tank on it. So you can really use this in all sorts of different environments. And let's say you do want to put it in your RV. What's nice is if you can find a spot for it that, that isn't you know too short and you can fit it there, you don't have to have the big jug on top of it to feed it water. So again, you can pour in just shy of a gallon of water into it just so you have the ability to, uh, to produce ice without having to put a large container of water on top. But this is very cool. What do you guys think of it? Let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's add some water to it and uh, see how long it takes to get our first batch of ice produced. And then we'll also check out the hot and cold water functions as well. Okay, so we have it plugged in and we have it powered on. It says to add water. So I have this uh, Yeti cup full of water right now and I'm using filtered tap water as opposed to bottle water at this point because you probably want to run a few cycles of water through it before you actually start using the ice and that's simply the case with anything like this you don't want to just you know use your first batch of ice if you want to use it to cool something down by putting it around it like in a cooler you could do that but I certainly wouldn't recommend uh, drinking with the ice that's in here on the first couple of batches we're going to go and pour this in the top hopefully without spilling it All right, going to add some more water. Sounds like it's working now. I can hear things happening inside. It's probably in the process of moving the water into the, the area where it starts forming it into the little bullet-shaped pieces of ice. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. I think this will be the last bit of water I'll need to add. Maybe. It's certainly not going down quite as fast anymore. It is no longer telling me to add water, which is nice. And we should have our first load of ice out really soon. I'm going to hit ice block right here. Okay, now I, I certainly heard some noise inside. So it's in the process of uh, producing ice, and you can probably hear it. Yeah, you can hear it filling up the ice tray, or the little section that actually produces the ice. So it's already on its way to making its first batch of, uh, of ice for me. So we'll be back in a minute so we can see specifically uh, how long it took. I'm going to start a timer. So I have my timer running right here. We're going to see how long it takes to produce the first batch of ice. And while we're waiting for our first batch of ice, this product is from a company called NuNet. Their website is nuvending.com, N-U-Vending.com. 
It sells for $349.99 on Amazon, and they give you a 5% coupon. So I don't know if they'll always have that coupon available, but right now if you buy it on Amazon, you can get 5% off by applying the coupon. But yeah, this is a, a pretty cool product. It's certainly one I think a lot of folks would get use out of because, you know, if you are going to try to put this in your RV, you typically are not going to have an ice maker with your refrigerator unless you get like a larger fifth wheel or like a super luxury travel trailer that has a residential refrigerator in it with ice maker. And even then, a lot of folks are very hesitant to use the ice maker that comes in their RV because you have to then winterize it and you have to drain everything out completely because if it freezes it can damage the refrigerator or even cause a water leak. So those are some of the things that concern people and having something that's portable like this, especially something you could use in your home and then transfer to your RV if you have the space, can come in really handy for a lot of folks. And for the price and what it's capable of doing with you know creating hot water, cold water, or ice, it's pretty handy. It's pretty useful. It really checks a lot of boxes that people might have. If you want to make hot tea, if you just want to have a cold drink after being outside, or uh, you simply want to use ice. You know, and the fact that you pull your water from a filtered source or from a purified source is also a really convenient tool. So there's a lot of really good reasons to have something like this. And quite frankly, the price is really affordable considering what all it's capable of doing. All right, checking the timer. We are at three minutes and 25 seconds right now. So we should be about halfway done roughly with the first batch of ice, but we'll find out. And then just keep in mind, once you pour water into the top of it, you can simply put the cover over it so you don't have to worry about contaminants getting into your water supply. So right under eight minutes, and you can hear it dispensing into the reservoir now. So right under eight minutes, and it's already produced its first batch, and I can hear it producing the next batch. And the way this works, essentially, is you have these cooling rods that go down into this water basin. And the water gets pumped from the reservoir in here into that basin, and it starts freezing around the ends of those cooling rods, and it produces that bullet-style ice. So it took right at about 7 minutes and 50 seconds to produce the ice, drain the basin, dump it in, and then start producing more ice. But now if we want ice, you have your three buttons here. So these are all touch sensitive buttons up here, uh, depending on what you are wanting to use. And then this is how you actually dispense it. Okay, so I think all you do is press the ice button and then it will dispense your ice for you. It's a little slow, but it's kind of cute to be honest, because it's just like spitting ice out at you. But keep in mind, it's probably pushing the ice forward and we only have one batch of ice in here. So once this starts filling up with ice, then it's going to push out a lot more much quicker. But that's what the ice looks like. If we want to dispense cold water, I imagine I would simply switch to cold water. Move my cup over. Now the only thing to be careful about is wondering if it stops on its own, which I think it does. Okay, so it does. So you might have to press it a few times to fill up a full cup of water. And then we're going to go ahead and dump this out and see how the hot water feature works. So I'm going to turn off cold water turn on hot water and it's producing ice and it should be heating up water at the same time so let me go ahead and dump my cup out I'll be right back okay so now we're gonna check the hot water so something to keep in mind with the hot water is there's a safety in place this unlock button is not gonna let you dispense hot water until you unlock it and this is a child safety thing because you don't want a, a small child coming up and just hitting the hot water button and all of a sudden you have scolding hot water coming out but before we talk about that or how to use it, let's talk about how the system works. So it heats up water, but it doesn't heat up water instantly. If you're gonna want hot water, you come up to it and you simply press the hot water button right here. It's a little touch sensitive button and you can see it flashing. And that starts the warming process for the water. Then you simply take your cup, put your cup underneath it, press the unlock button, and then quickly press the hot water button. If you don't press the hot water button within a couple of seconds, the lock light will come back on. 
So you need to unlock it before you're able to actually use the hot water. You can see we need to add some more water to it. So one of the only critiques I really have of this so far is just that you need to have the internal water basin relatively full before it's gonna start letting you do anything because before it kicks on, you need to be sure you add water to it. Put the water in here. Oh yeah, that's warm now. So yeah, that's basically the process here. You just need to let it warm the water up for a while before you go ahead and use the hot water feature. Cold water and all of that's pretty instantaneous. You just press cold water, press the button, and that water is cold. And that fills up pretty quickly too. And it shuts off whenever, uh, whenever it gets to a certain point. It looks like it dispenses about eight ounces of water. But there it is. I'd have to admit this is a pretty cool product and it can check a lot of boxes for a lot of folks. So I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you may be interested in. Again, the folks over at NuNet provided this to me. Their website's newvending, nuvending.com. Um, you know, and I'll let you know how it performs over a period of time, but we're certainly gonna get a lot of use out of this. Very, very cool item. And again, it checks all those boxes of what most people are looking for whenever you're shopping for a product like this. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.